disaster has struck the Earth. The human population has dwindled. Resources are scarce. Danger lurks. Safety is key. Sanctuary is needed. Luckily, you've got a Unicat Terracross. This is the Unicat Terracross, and this thing is outrageous. This is an international harvester chassis. The engine is a 5.7 liter inline six cylinder, producing a measly 310 horsepower, but 950 pound feet of torque. That's enough to move a mountain, which is pretty much what we're riding in today. So we're here with Avi, the CEO of Unicat Americas. Avi, thanks for being with us. Pleasure. So tell me about Unicat. Well, Unicat is a German company that's been around for about 25 years. It was founded by an individual by the name of Thomas Ritter. And basically what he was looking for is a vehicle that had off-road capability of a Jeep and the staying power of an RV. What sets it apart for the standard RVs is its ability to go off-road. That's where it really shines. Each vehicle is built from scratch, and you can really make every decision humanly possible. So if this was really gonna be your bug out vehicle, you, you gotta get away, nuclear explosion, and somehow you've survived, um, how long could you go somewhere with this? For my family and I, we probably have enough supplies, food, water, for two to three months. I'm just kinda going along. Got my big steering wheel. Got my seat that bounces up and down because it's got air ride on it. As far as the drive, the acceleration is pretty awful. It only goes up to about 4,000 RPM. You could take this thing up to probably 75 or 80 miles an hour, though I wouldn't recommend it. This car doesn't tighten up. It actually can feel a little wobbly. This is 30 miles an hour, and you can already see me kind of moving around a little bit. And that's because the suspension and the wheels and everything are created to take big hills, to take big bumps, to get through sand. Got all kinds of buttons and switches up here. You know, this vehicle is the ultimate escape vehicle. Right now we're in the Unicat Terracross 52 Comfort. Tell me about some of the features that you have loaded this thing out with. This vehicle is full of redundancy to air conditioning units, to refrigerators, to water systems, to hot water making systems, two separate fuel tanks with separate fuel pumps, lots of storage because when you go out for two or three months at a time, the one thing you do need a lot of is supplies. You guys also have solar panels. We have 323 watt solar panels on the roof. We have a 3000 watt inverter. We have an eight kilowatt generator. We carry six 4D batteries and a seventh battery dedicated to the generator. We carry a desalination unit as well as for decontamination. So we can draw water from virtually any source and convert it into fresh drinking water. You can also let the air out of your tires. Yes, so when we're on the road, the tire pressure that we use is 100 PSI. If we head into the sand dunes, for example, or onto the beach, we need to deflate the tires down to about 25 PSI. It doubles the footprint of the tire, so we can literally float over the sand. This is burglar proof? That means that it's very difficult to break into this. You saw the door, triple stainless steel lock. We fit a solid panel to separate the cab from the body. The windows also stainless steel hardware. Bulletproof? This particular unit is not bulletproof. Unfortunately, it doubles the weight and also doubles the price. Right, right. But it would be glass, wrapping around. I mean, the whole thing would be pretty gnarly. Who is this for? This is for people who enjoy adventure travel. You're much more likely to see one of these in the Gobi Desert, the Kalahari, than you are in New York City. Where do you want to go next with this? Uh, our plan is to uh, drive this back west. Our next big trip will be up to Alaska. And after that, we'd like to start on our circumnavigation of the world. 
All right, so basically the Terra Cross is an RV on steroids, and you're not likely to see one of these in the wild, unless, of course, you're heading off to some epic adventure, or it's the end of the world. For Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.